In this video, I'm going to show you a cool new no-code tool from Buster that helps you categorize or classify things into different categories using AI. This comes in handy in case you have a large list of websites or items that you need to assign them to different categories. In case you're not familiar with Buster, it's a platform where you can find dozens of handy tools or bots that will do all sorts of work for you, such as data scraping or automation. And if you can't find a tool you need, you can build one using their no-code bot builder. So like I said, in this video, I'll walk you through an AI tool that will help you with item classification. Actually, I'm going to show you two tools and one is going to help you classify websites by categories and the other tool will classify items by categories. By the way, don't forget to support the channel by liking this video and if you're into no-code business automation, do hit that subscribe button right now. Okay, let's start with the website classifier tool. To use the tool, you will first need to sign up on Boster. It is free to try and you will get test credit so you can test the tools out free of charge. Let's search for the OpenAI classifier tool using the site search. There it is, let's click on that. Now from the preview, you can already tell what it does. You give it a list of websites and it sorts them into different categories. Now you can of course read the description of the bot to understand how it works in detail, but I'm going to move forward and press the start button. Now you can see the bot's configuration page. We'll use this page to tell the bot what needs to be done. First, let's name our job. Let's call it site classifier demo. Next, you will need to provide a list of links you would like the bot to classify. I have a couple of links prepared for this demo, so I'm going to just paste them in. After that, you can scroll down and view the categories that the tool will use for categorization. The cool thing about this is that you can edit this list and add your own categories or remove them, but make sure that it's not empty because you must have some categories for the bot to work. I'm just going to leave everything as is and I'm going to skip the notification block because I want to view the results right away. However, you can ask the bot to email you the results once it's done or hook it to your messengers, Zapier or Google Drive. Just going to click on the start this bot button and wait for the bot to complete the job. As you can see, the bot is running and all we have to do now is just wait for it to provide the data. Okay, the bot completed the job and now let's click on the view data button and look at our data. You can see that the bot returns several categories assigned to each of the sites I provided. The cool thing here is that each website is assigned to several categories. The first being the main category, the closest category, and the other two are adjacent categories, so to speak. You can of course download this data in different formats or share this page with somebody by clicking on this green button here. Let's move to the next tool, which is the items categorizer. Like in the first example, the principle is similar. You provide a list of categories and the bot maps the items to appropriate categories. In this case, the categories aren't provided by the tool though. You will need to provide them manually as well as the item list, of course. So let's quickly find the bot by using the search function. Open AI items categorizer. Let's click on the start bot button, quickly name the job categorization demo. So now let's input a list of items in the list of categories. I mixed a bunch of car brands with some animals and the AI will help us match them to proper categories. Let's click on the start this bot button. The bot created the job and all we have to do now is wait for it to complete it. The job is completed and now let's click on the view data button and you can see the categories have been assigned properly. You've now reached the end of the tutorial. Congratulations. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video to support the channel. And in case you're interested in business automation strategies, make sure to subscribe to the channel right now and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.